Hey guys, so Google Cloud wasn't really a focus of my training right now because so many people are interested in AWS. Uh, this is something I try to tell everybody, like everybody was obsessed with Java at one point and then the Java jobs tried out. Anyways, right now I'm looking for a job uh, and to my surprise, like I got the five AWS certifications, uh, but there are a ton of people out there who know AWS Google Cloud. There are not many people on the market. And like people are literally begging me to come join as a G Cloud professional, but I cannot uh, move anywhere. So I'm kind of screwed. But like those of you who are interested in a career and not necessarily working with AWS, I would say Google Cloud would be a good place uh, uh, like a good thing to look into right now anyway so a couple of things first of all the exam for Google Cloud the associate engineer exam has a significant amount of questions uh, about using these are my actual exam notes uh, and I made these uh, mainly for the associate exam for the pro exams uh, in, on either side you don't remember to you don't need to remember the syntaxes uh, but that's why at my level the associate certificates are pretty useless but for somebody like you who is just starting off getting the associate engineer certificate pretty good uh, so there you're gonna need G Cloud SDK and plus you're gonna use this tool day in and day out every single day so that I illustrate uh, three main services that you would use the G Cloud with uh, Kubernetes, storage, and compute. So we'll just run through these services real quick in this short and sweet training. Hope it helps, guys. Thank you so much. Good luck.